you know, look, I have no problem being opportunistic when it comes to advantaging my customers. <laughs> and, and, you know, EV adoption really does come down to when we go into the mainstream, you know, charging infrastructure when you're on a road trip. And we really like the locations and the reliability of their network. We have the largest charging network already before Tesla, but putting 12,000 fast chargers on the network on your Ford Pass app with your Lightning is going to be even better for customers. So I didn't really, our team didn't really hesitate because it's, it's good for customers. Well, and frankly, when you go to a charging station, it's a social experience. People don't realize it's a lot like gas stations in the 20s. And people go, oh, that's a Ford. I thought everyone had to buy a Tesla. Look at that Mach-E charging over there. Maybe I should look into that car. Well, you sound like it's a Trojan horse, but at the same time, you're dealing with a guy, a messianic figure. You yeah. saw that in the interview with David Yes, Faber. yes, yes. I mean, he does, he, uh, it's, it's zero sum. He yes. thinks of you as an internal combustion engine company that's yeah. trying to do something EV. Yeah. Is he respect, in, in the talks, was there any respect? I think he is respectful, but more because of Henry Ford than Jim Farley. And, you know, okay, but, but, but the, real, the reality is America loves an underdog. And, and we, we, are, we are the market leader for EV trucks and vans. And, and we know those customers better than anyone. Well, can, and, it, but, and if he wants to design a cyber truck for Silicon Valley people, fine. But I designed a truck and I know how to design a truck. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.